beloved. We'll gather together here in the sight of God and this company to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate instituted of God, blessed by the Lord Jesus Christ, and declared by St. Paul to be honorable among men. It is not, therefore, to be entered into without holy advice, or lightly, or reverently, soberly, advisedly, and in the fear of God. Let us, therefore, under the seriousness of this act, invoke the divine presence upon this occasion. Let us bow here in prayer, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, let thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespass as we forgive our trespasses. Lead us not into no temptation, but deliver us from all evil, for thine in the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now we can have our scripture read by my granddaughter Ashley. Blessed is everyone that fears the Lord, that walk in his ways. For thou shalt eat the labor of thin hands. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with thee. Thy wife shall be as fruitful vine by the sides of thine house, thy children like all the plants round about thy table. Behold, that thus shall the man be blessed, who fears the Lord. The Lord shall bless thee out of Zion, and thou shalt be, be the God of Jerusalem all the days of thy life. Yeah, thou shalt be thy children, children, and be the punishment. I now charge you both, as you stand in the presence of God, to remember that the true love and faithful observance of your marriage vows are required as a foundation of a successful marriage and the establishment of a happy, enduring home. Without these, there can be no real marriage. And a home with which you will endeavor to establish will be a vain effort. Keep the solemn vow you are about to make. Live with tender consideration for each other. Conduct your lives in honesty and in truth, and your marriage will last. Your home will be lasting. This commitment to marriage will be a blessing to you and will be a blessing to others. This should be remembered as we now desire to be united in holy. Rashad, do you take this woman to be your wedded wife? And do you honestly promise before God and these witnesses that you will love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? and that forsaking all others for her alone, you will perform unto her all the respect that a husband owes to his wife until God by death shall separate you. I will. Kristen, do you take this man to be your wedded husband? And do you honestly promise before God and all these witnesses that you will love him, comfort him, honor and obey him in sickness and in health? and that forsaken all other him will perform unto him all the duties that a wife owes to her husband until God by death shall separate you. Since it is an agreement of Roshad and Christian to be husband and wife before God and these witnesses. Rashad, repeat this after me. I, Rashad, I, Rashad, take thee, Crystal, take thee, Crystal, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, for richer or for poor, in sickness and health, sickness and health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish. Uh, to death do us part. To death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to their, God's holy ordinance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there too, I pledge thee my faith. And there too, I pledge thee my faith. Hi, Krista. Hi, Take Rashad. Take To be my wedded husband. To be my wedding. To have to hold from this day forward. 
For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. And sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. The death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto, I pledge thee my faith. is an outward and a beautiful sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in holy matrimony through the church of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us pray. Blessed, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in peace and continue in our favor through Jesus Christ, our Lord. In love, abide in love. With this ring, with this ring, I do wear. I do wear. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. There we go. In token and pledge of our constant faith, <laughs> abide in love. With this ring, I do wear. In, in the name of the Father. Son and the Holy Ghost. Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Now. So we're not going to do, we're not doing the camera. Yeah, we're having enough. Can we get one real quick? Let's go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> For as much as Rashad and Krista have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this people. And thereunto have pledged the faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and giving rings and receiving rings. I pronounce and I pronounce you husband and wife. And Woo! God joined together let no man put asunder. Now you kiss your See you, brother. Let's go. Let's go! Mr. and Mrs. Grant. Let's go! <laughs>